this this agency has to be willing to go into court mm -hmm. and you know take some losses from time to time. My view is it's very clear Ethereum's a currency. It's very clear XRP is a currency. And that the SEC, I mean, he was interviewed yesterday, uh, Gary Gensler was, or maybe it was even this morning, and commented that, hey, we're going to lose some cases. This is the definition of so you think he regulation was by enforcement. He was going to lose, you think he was saying he's going to lose your case? I don't know what he was saying. <laughs> Things just got a little more interesting than usual, my XRP fans. Did Gary Gensler go on live TV announcing their loss? That's wild. If you have any XRP tokens, I'm sure this news is going to blow your mind. Ripple? and the SEC have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe in court, now we might just have a winner. Is Ripple about to settle with the SEC? Well, let's dive right in, and I'll share some of the hints I've picked up on and why I think settlement is coming soon. Don't touch that dial. As always, welcome to Moneyside, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get updates when we drop a new video. And don't forget to smash that like button, and you can always leave a comment or question in the section below. Gensler went on from saying that they will never lose a case to proclaiming that their agency might take losses from time to time. So what does that mean and why the sudden change of heart? On the other hand, the SEC filed for an extension of time yet again until June 7, 2022, an opposition against the amicus request for the XRP Army to participate in the expert challenge. More importantly, any response to that objection now has to be filed three days after that submission, which takes us to Friday, June 10th. Both the defendant and the plaintiff did not object to the extension of time to file a complaint. Thankfully, this gives Ripple and the 67,000 XRP Army to some sort of an advantage since it allows for their inclusion into the court case. That offers an added bonus to Ripple's defense team and could potentially lead to the end of this court case. From here on out, the SEC will be fighting on two fronts, since now the XRP Army will be a part of the defendant team. That could push the SEC to retreat and go for a settlement sooner than we anticipated. We all know how vigilant the XRP Army is and how they've been keenly looking at this court case from the start. So is Gary Gensler finally hitting that we are about to reach a settlement really soon? Is the SEC planning to turn a much quicker settlement? You can share your thoughts and comments down below. I'm also curious to hear from the 67,000 members of the XRP Army. So if you're one of them or know someone, share this video with them and let's have a conversation. The current events have pushed governments from all over the world to look deeper into the cryptocurrency world. I'm talking about the Terra Luna crash that without a doubt ran most of us bankrupt. But like I've always pointed out, there's no such thing as stable coins. If you pay close attention to these coins, you'll figure out that they really don't have anything backing them up except the will of the people. If you have a contrary opinion, comment in the section below and prove me wrong. I don't mind talking to someone with a different take on stable coins, but for now, my stand remains. The next phase, and probably the safest, is CBDCs, which will likely help bridge the gap between fiat and crypto. But until that happens, it's best to stay away from stable coins at the moment. The Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit seems to be an even bigger focus than in the past, thanks to the current issues arising in the crypto sphere. Here's something that will completely turn heads. The regulatory body is actually trying to prevent the 67,000 holders from joining the lawsuit. This year, the stakes are so high, especially for the crypto world. That's because the state now considers crypto as the primary priority in Washington, D.C. after President Biden signed the crypto executive order. Without a doubt, the future of cryptocurrencies is now on the line and it all boils down to this case. If and when Ripple prevails, the SEC will be forced to change their tactics towards the cryptosphere and their negative attitude on the same. However, if the regulatory agency succeeds, then we are bound to have catastrophic effects across the whole crypto space. The agency will then come into the crypto world guns a-blazing. We expect fresh lawsuits against other cryptos in the space. That said, it's not an understatement to say that this court case will lay the foundation of how the SEC will, win the future, go after other cryptocurrencies. It's completely ironic how the SEC is trying their level best to mess up the XRP army, and yet they should be protecting them in the first place. Thankfully, all of this is happening in a public forum where the whole world can see. More importantly, justice will be served even if it takes an eternity. Now, let's just state the obvious. Ripple has never and will never sell XRP in the secondary markets. Additionally, 
retail investors have never entered into an investment contract with Ripple. And to add on to that, the majority of XRP holders never even heard of Ripple when they bought into XRP. On the other hand, Ethereum has for years been deemed a currency by most officials, including Gensler himself. Now, I don't know about you, but that seems like they are picking the winners and losers in the crypto market. In fact, chances are the regulatory body may have already cut a deal with Ethereum that we don't even know about. Or they're just too afraid of going after Ethereum. Either way, it's as clear as day that this court case involves a lot more than just what meets the eye. Sooner rather than later, even though the SEC is against it, the XRP Army will join the defense team and that will be the end of this court case. As we speak, the SEC hasn't presented any strong evidence against the XRP Army joining the team. So let's hold on to our buns because we are now entering the end game. As always, do your own research and always trade safely, guys. We continue to pray for the people of Ukraine. Let's stop the war. Please keep in mind, we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. You can let us know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button below. And be sure to turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next Money Side.